Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for December 2nd, 2021. Well, wow, yesterday we had a pretty ugly um, price reversal. I had talked about that possibility yesterday to watch those price resistance levels. I did not realize how sensitive we would be to news of, you know, the first case of the new variant here in the United States, but I did suggest that there may be a retest of lows. Well, we got that and then some yesterday. So hopefully no one was caught off guard by this and just the blindly buy the dip mantra that has been going on, um, you know, with all the talking heads on financial news. Let's take a look at these charts, how they're setting up. So let's settle in, buckle up, and let's get ready for the Thursday edition for the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you all for being here today. I truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at these charts, see if we can gain some information about how we may want to approach the market for today. Yesterday, if you, as you remembered, I, I had drawn out um, several places in this chart to watch carefully for, and I had specifically mentioned um, some areas of price resistance that as we push up toward price resistance watch carefully for those i didn't draw that very straight let's see if we can do a little bit better job of there i didn't um so right in here um we ended up catching that price resistance and almost to the tick and um, i had mentioned yesterday that possibility that we could see some additional lows or a retest of um, the lows of the day before and as you can see um, I had suggested that we were really really close to that 200 day moving average and we couldn't rule out the possibility of a test of that well we not only tested it but we broke right through it so we are extremely oversold in the short term but I would caution everyone once again to be a little bit careful I think we will catch a relief rally of some kind but you're going to have to watch these resistance levels and we've created quite a few resistance levels in the chart if I drop in some um, levels in here that's around that 200 day moving average we've got these price levels right through here we've got price levels right through here so as we rally back up we're going to want to watch those carefully and closely because I suspect um, what happened yesterday is the buy the dip buyers got punished so badly they're not going to be quite as eager to just rush right in and pump us back up strongly so be really really careful here expect a more news driven whipsaw price action in the market and keep in mind on Friday morning we have that employment situation number um, that can always create some turmoil in price action let's take a look at that SPY if you remember yesterday I mentioned that possibility that we were so close to that 50-day moving average that we couldn't rule out a test of that 50-day moving average I did not realize that it would happen all at one shot in a complete reversal light like that but that is one of the technical things that you have to pay attention to and as you can see um, as we rallied back up yesterday we smacked right into that resistance level that I had marked out yesterday as um, to watch that carefully as we moved up to these areas in here between here and here to watch for that price resistance and we uh, tagged that and reversed hard on that news yesterday so here we are around that 50-day moving average we're trying to hang in there um, on that 50-day moving average with a little bit of bullishness this morning in the pre-market but you're going to want to watch that pretty closely because we could easily see a pop and drop on the morning as well so just to be a little bit careful right there we're trying to perk up and we're already getting a little bit of pullback in that pre-market so watch for those whipsaws um, implied volatility in the uh, um, in options are extremely high it's going to be a challenging environment until we settle down a little bit and then if we take a look at the cues now I had mentioned that the QQQ just kind of had ignored overall the market well yesterday we got our first 
substantial day of selling with big tech retreating just a bit. And as you can see, we broke some price support in the chart. So although that was a relatively minor break of price support in the chart, we now officially have a lower high and I think um, what I've been talking about here um, in possibility um, has kind of played through. So we do have that head and shoulders pattern here in the chart and that lower high. Now our neckline of this head and shoulders is going to be down through here. So remember we could get a rally back into those resistance levels uh, pretty easily. But if that head and shoulders were to play out, um, we cannot rule out. <clears throat> a test down here in these levels pretty easily and maybe even coming um, all of this way down into here because that head from the head to the neckline is pretty substantial and that means the break would be pretty substantial if we were to break that lower so watch carefully um, remember sideways is a move in the market and although we've been really focused on just the big big swings up and the big swings down we may need a sideways consolidation to just rest a little while in this market to calm things down and as you can see at the moment the nasdaq is trying to follow through with a little bit of selling this morning reversing some of that intraday bullishness and pushing lower. We have European markets substantially lower across the board this morning. So there may be that little bit of pressure that could continue to keep those bears inspired. And then if we take a look at the Russell, oh my goodness, the Russell got hammered hard yesterday, pushed right up into that price resistance that I had mentioned yesterday in the chart, pushed right up into that and just got beat down hard yesterday and i had mentioned that if we were to fail fail some of those areas we'd have to start watching support levels down here in this area never expected we would do it all in one day however and and notice that we may still have to move a little bit lower to truly test or catch that um, support level in IWM. So here again, I cannot rule out that possibility that we may see a little bit more um, downside in that Russell to catch that support. And if we bounce, no, just keep your eyes glued to these resistance levels in the chart. We're going to see price resistance coming into play a little bit more, I think, in this market because this kind of move definitely emboldens those bears. So watch that pretty closely. Let's take a look at our VIX. Now the VIX was kind of hovering right in this area about 30 minutes before the um, the market closed and oh my gosh did we surge right at the end of the day as um, the bears just really put on a heavy attack and we closed up here around 31 handles. So as I've been mentioning before guys um, as we continue to to show that fear. I've been pointing out this potential upside. I kept warning about these resistance levels here in the chart. And now this big surge to the upside. Now I would expect we're gonna ring this out here just a little bit. Um, emotions are very high. And what that means is we're likely to get some kind of a resting pullback. But please, or in the VIX, and that means a relief rally in the market. But keep in mind, we've broken that downtrend here in that VIX. So as we pull back, we want to, in the VIX, we're gonna to wanna to watch the support levels in this chart. If we were to hold in here and start moving back up, we could um, engage this trend out here and really turn into an ugly market. So watch carefully um, for that possibility. Now this should pull back pretty good today, but um, with the fear that's out there on this Omicron variant, I, I it's hard to it's hard to guess what may occur here. So just make sure you trade carefully. Let's take a look at our um, uh, T2122. Now this is the one that's going to give us that best hope of a relief rally bounce. And notice we're down here scraping the bottom of the ocean. We're right here um, about as low as we get in T2122. And so we'll wanna watch this carefully. I do think there is a relief rally that's probably on the way. 
We'll want to watch carefully for that. But we do have a complication. We have our NASDAQ that's still extremely elevated, way up here, extremely elevated. And our, our Dow and IWM are extremely deflated at the same time. So we have this odd situation going on in here. Now, we've had the NASDAQ holding the market up for such a long time. And I've mentioned what happens if big tech starts to sell. Now, um, could we get the Dow to rally substantially with with um, the NASDAQ selling off or continuing to sell off? Possibly, but we're going to want to watch that pretty closely. Um, I think big tech could really drag down a lot of stocks and continue to drag them down if it really starts to tumble. So watch that closely. We got this weird thing going on in the market. But I would be looking for some kind of a relief rally, some kind of a lift in here. Let's hope we don't just go straight back up like we did yesterday because that's what creates those nasty, ugly whipsaws. A little bit more careful move uh, to the upside is what we want to see. A little bit more steady um, instead of the, just these big emotional whips in the market. So watch that closely. Then let's take a look at our T2107. I got to tell you guys, this is not a good sign for us. T2107 made new lows. Only 31, 32% of the stocks holding above their 200 day moving average were continuing in this downtrend. It's not looking so hot at the moment. But I will tell you that this is a kind of an oversold condition in the short term. And this does lean us to that idea that we could get a bit of a relief rally or at least a consolidation to rest here just a little bit. And then our T2108, the number of stocks. Um, falling below their 40-day moving average um, also extended yesterday pretty sharply. Only 21%, 21.5%. So I'm going to call that 22%. I don't know how you get a half a percent of stocks. But 22% uh, of the stocks um, holding above their 40-day moving average. So that's not that's not very good. Um, that means there's a lot of pain out there in the market. So watch carefully here as we continue um, that process of pushing lower. Then if we take a look at our T2101, and I've mentioned this many times before, that this downtrend here in, um, in this um, wedging pattern, if that were to break, um, that's where some real selling could come into play. And um, we certainly have broken that um, now with this spike in fear here in the market. T2101 has certainly spiked up on that market breadth. Now, what I would watch for is that pullback. Um, this right here is just kind of that first wave of, uh-oh, something's wrong. A pullback that holds a higher low in here is where something really could go wrong in the market. So watch carefully on that market breadth. If it doesn't pull back below into that wedging pattern, we may have some more downside to come in the market. Let's take a look at our um, economic calendar for today. And our economic calendar is actually pretty light today. Not not a whole lot of big market movers on here. We have um, jobless claims, which of course can be a market mover and they're expecting that to improve just slightly um, today. So that would be bullish for the market. And um, we have some Fed speakers. Notice we have a natural gas report. I don't think anybody's gonna care about the natural gas report, um, honestly, but um, keep an eye on that. And then we have that Fed balance sheet, which we know we don't care about that. Um, as long as the Fed keeps printing, we're pretty happy. So um, debt doesn't seem to be a big issue, at least at the moment. Um, and then keep in mind, as you're planning forward, we've got that employment situation number. We've got some factory orders and ISM on Friday. Let's take a look at um, our earnings uh, calendar. Now, our earnings calendar, we have, oh, 28 companies listed on that earnings calendar. So one of our bigger days of this week. And if you uh, click the link on uh, just below the title of the video, that'll take you back to the morning blog, and you can see a full list of those notables. I'll go over a couple of these this morning. Take a look at Dollar General. Dollar General reporting this morning looks like it's getting kind of thumped on here just a little bit, so you'll want to keep an eye on that. We've got uh, just a little bit of retail. Um, uh, Duluth Trading um, will be reporting today. We're going to hear from 
Kirkland. Ooh, that's a that's an ugly hit on Kirkland. Um, Marvel um, reporting today. Um, we're going to hear from Ulta today. We're also going to hear from SWBI. Um, so there's a few of those notables, um, and there are a few more in that list. So uh, click that link and go back to the blog, and you can catch that full list. Um, let's take a, um, a quick look at some stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, guys, if you can do me a favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, please click that subscribe button on YouTube. Click that bell icon when it pops up. And then also, if you feel the video is worthy, click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment. I truly, truly appreciate that. You know, there's always haters out there in the market. There's always those that, um, um, you know, just they're grumpy about everything. Um, you know, I don't think it does me any good to be all gloom and doom here in in these charts, even though I have someone commenting on the channel that I'm being disingenuous by wishing everyone a great day in the market. But honestly, guys, um, I, I don't get up every morning at 5 a.m. to to put these videos out because I don't because I'm just trying to be disingenuous. I do care. And that's why I give these warnings. And that's why I um, lay out support resistance and trend and those kind of things in charts. So if you guys find these things to be useful, please continue to support that channel with um, clicking that um, thumbs up button and also leaving a brief comment. I truly, truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at a few stocks that might be setting up, but I got to tell you guys, we're going to have to be really, really careful here in this market with some volatility because of the wildness that we're seeing in here. Take a look at LAC. Now, LAC was pulling back yesterday and it was in a nice little controlled pullback until that big sell-off came. Notice LAC has got a little bit of a steepness in its um, trend here, but it might be worth keeping an eye on this as we hold some support in this area this resting pullback in here, it may have to hold here for a little while. We may have to rest out to the longer term trend, but keep an eye on LAC. There may be some opportunities showing up in the chart. Very nice looking chart overall. Um, take a look at uh, Ford. Now Ford held up really well yesterday considering um, the way the market was acting. So I'd keep a close eye on that. Ford may be something to watch and look for here. Um, as it continues this consolidation, it may have to rest a lot longer here because this was a pretty steep rally, but I do think it uh, continues to be um, one of those charts that, um, well, it can look pretty good here um, if we can pop that resistance level in the chart. I got to also uh, mention General Motors. Now, General Motors um, had some news out today that they are increasing their guidance um, uh, for the next quarter. So you might want to keep an eye on that um, as we, if we can hold this price level of support, hold in on that bigger trend, there may be some opportunity here in General Motors to pick up to the upside. I did notice um, NIO. NIO was trying to get going yesterday before the big route came in the market. But notice we're trying to bounce back up. Now you gotta be a little bit careful with these Chinese issue stocks right now because China is acting so odd um, here lately. Um, you know, it's just one decision over there and they can destroy a company pretty quickly. But keep an eye on this. If this can hold this price support in here, technically, um, we break that downtrend right in here. There may be some opportunities coming in NIO. So keep a close eye on that. Now, my plug, oh my goodness, my plug stopped out yesterday. So just so you know, I had a great day yesterday in the market, but this was not one of them. Um, uh, plug stopped out for me. Um, so I'm going to keep a close eye on this. Um, pulling back, um, watch that closely. Um, kind of off my list, at least for the moment. So don't win every trade. Don't want to let everybody think that I do. Um, I, I have losers just like everyone else. But we did take a nice uh, bear call credit spread on the QQQ. And uh, boy, by the end of the day, that was up 30%. So um, we, um, you know, there's winners and losers in the market, right? We're not going to always pick them perfectly. So um, 
I want to wish everyone a fantastic day. Thank you so much for being here. Um, be safe out there, guys. Um, this may be, if you're not an experienced trader, this may be another day to just kind of stay on the side. You know, pop some popcorn, put your feet up, watch the show as this tries to settle out. Um, could be a lot of volatility over the over the rest of this week. So just, just be a little bit careful. Protect your capital. So with that, everyone, I want to wish you all the very, very best. Have an awesome day, and we'll see you right back here bright and early Friday morning. Take care.